I hope you are not among the generation of people who will bring four pictures to pastor and say, Pastor, pray for this picture. Pick, tell me the one that is my husband. You are not serious with your life. If you are in that category, you are not serious. Because the next question you ask yourself is, how long will I be taking pictures to meet my pastor? What if my pastor dies tomorrow? Who will, who will I meet with picture again? Don't start picture ministry. Start word ministry. Go and know God for yourself. Tell God to open your ear. Have a relationship with God so that he speaks to you. Not carrying picture up and the pastor, I'm confused. I have a shunke, I have a doge, I have binige. Pastor, this thing around, tell me now who will be my wife. You don't know God. You don't know God. You don't have a relationship with God. Because if you have a relationship with God, you will not be confused concerning having a life partner. He speaks to you expressly. He will tell you that this one is not your wife. You know. You know. It gives you signs. But if your antenna cannot pick network from heaven, how will you know when the voice of God is speaking to you? Yeah, most times it can be the voice of flesh. It's true. The voice, voice of your emotions become louder than the voice of God. And it's a very unsafe place, a dangerous place to be in. In fact, it's very paramount for you to know the will of God because the truth is you were willed to become something in life. So because I have been given a will to be responsible, given a will that I, sh I am blessed for fruitfulness. So in other words, if I understand that fact, it means that I should be able to go back to my master, the one that governs my life, to ask him, what is your will concerning the life partner? Because if I do not know his will for the life partner, I will not know who can partner with the life he has given to me. Yeah. So it's very important for me to find out from him because, see, you can have emotions for someone and it's not the will of God. True. Because he needs the partner that will work in alignment with your destiny, what he has destined for you to become. Yes. Everybody sitting down here has a destiny. Mm. Everyone sitting down here has an assignment. You are here to fulfill a destiny. You are here to fulfill an assignment. And that's why it's important for you to go back to your master and say, what's the will? He created every one of us so he knows the heart of a man. So it's just for you to go back to him and ask him, what is this person's heart? Because the person's heart can play safe towards you, but it's dangerous in God's sight. That's true. And then the person can be all peaceful for you, but he's not capacitated to work in your assignments. There, is, you, there are people you meet that there's nothing wrong with them, but the truth is they don't have the capacity to function in your assignments. True. So it's not enough to say, oh, he's nice, he's nice, he's good, he's not even, it's not, it's not about being wrong, it's about being right for where you are going to. Mm. So in other words, even if he's okay, he's good, she's nice, she's all of that, can she align with my destiny? There are times God will interrupt me to stop fishing fish and fish men. Will she be there yeah. to walk in that direction? Mm. 